friends, Valeria here from Chase and & Paper and today I want to show you how we can turn an ordinary paper bag, just a regular paper bag from a grocery store into a full leather that looks something like this. There, there's a beautiful leathery texture and a nice rich color and then in turn we can turn this full leather paper into something that looks like this there you go this is a traveler's notebook that i made out of this ordinary paper bag ready to see how i did it let's go in this video i will only show you how to make this full leather paper and then in the next video we are going to tackle the process of making a notebook let's roll so the first thing we want to do is we're going to start with the regular grocery bag paper bag and the first thing we are doing we are removing any handles so i'm just going to tear them off all right next i'm going to remove the bottom of the bag Next, I'm going to cut off all the unusable flaps and unusable parts of paper. But in order to make things easy for us to work with, I want to cut down this bed into a manageable size. Now we have this part of the bag. There we go. If you have any printed side, flip it over. We are going to work with the side that has no print on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is crumple it up really good. Just like that, I am crumpling up my bag. I will open it up. And I'm seeing lots of wrinkles already. That's great. You want as many wrinkles as possible to make it look as authentic as you can. So there we go. Opening it up again. In lots of wrinkles and I'm going to crumple it up again and the reason I'm opening it up and crumpling it again is that so I get wrinkles in different places so every time I roll it up like that I get a different wrinkle pattern and the more patterns you put on it the better the end result will look I'm bringing in my water bottle. This is just a regular water and I'm going to spritz my paper. Just spritzing it lightly. I'm going to wrinkle it yet again and I will open that up. Next, I'm bringing in my main ingredient. This is just a hair conditioner. Brand doesn't matter. All it matters is that it's a conditioner and not two-in-one. No shampoo here, just a conditioner. And I am going to put some in my hand. This is a good amount to start. And I'm going to condition my paper. And I'm going to crumple it up again. This softens up the fibers in the paper and makes it soft and pliable just like real leather. You can feel the texture has already changed. Yep, this paper is really soft now. I'm going 
going to start adding some color to our leather. I'm going to start with this Distress Oxide in Vintage Photo. And I'm lightly running over the paper, just like that. We are going to start lightly and then we can always add more color. It's much easier to make your paper darker than to make it lighter. I'm going to add a little bit of walnut, walnut stain. And I am also going to use some of this basic brown and stamping up. And I think I want to add a little bit of a red hue, so I'm going to use Festive Berries Distress Oxide by Ranger. Just lightly, here and there. It kind of gives it um, a pinkish almost look. So I'm gonna knock it down with a little bit more walnut stain. Now the cool thing about Distress Oxides is that they move around when you splash them with water. So I'm bringing in my water bottle and I'm going to spritz it lightly. I can see my colors are moving around already and I like that. There. Next I'm going to allow this to air dry. We can go grab a cup of coffee or lunch and we'll be back in just a few minutes. So now I wanted to make this just a little more darker. Um, so I am going to add some basic brown from Stampin' Up. Just kind of lightly run all over the surface. Now that my ink's moved and the paper is still drying, it's a good time to add some color since I can see what, um, what use we are getting as the inks and oxides move around on paper. And so yes, I'm making it a little bit darker and I'm gonna leave it alone for a few more minutes just to let paper air dry. And now that our paper is completely dry, I'm going to cover it with a layer of Mod Podge. I'm using the gloss finish this is completely up to you, but I like the gloss finish because I feel it gives it a nice shiny finish and it looks just like real leather. So let's do it. I'm kind of putting a nice even layer and I'm spreading it from the middle towards the edges of my paper, soon to be leather. And now we are going to let it dry again. I'm back and now our paper feels completely dry. I just about had the chance to wash the ink out of my fingers. <laughs> and look at this beautiful texture. Now, doesn't it look like leather? It has that nice sheen, leathery sheen, and it has a really soft, nice texture. It's very pliable. The colors are beautiful. Uh, one quick tip, go lightly on Mod Podge. If you make your layers too thick and just kind of go overboard, it's going to take you a long time to dry this out and your leather will remain sticky for a long time okay so just be mindful of that and go lightly on mud podge so here you go here is our beautiful leather i hope you give it a go 
experiment with the ink colors you like experiment with the texture give it some more crumpling or less crumpling to see which looks you like best also check out different mud podge um, mud podge finishes like try gloss or maybe you like matte better that's totally up to you so anyway that's a quick fun project i hope you like it and you get to recycle your paper bags if you like my video please give it a like please subscribe to my channel and share this video with a friend see you next time